Okay, this is an experiment uh, replication that Dr. Stifler asked uh, some of us to do if we could possibly do it. And I don't have all the necessary equipment, but I did the best I could. And it involves uh, getting a sec um, to basically self-oscillate with another sec. And uh, this is a process on how to understand how to do it. And it involves feedback. And the way he has uh, us doing this is he has a sec unit uh, being um, triggered by a little inductive wire right there. It's not uh, connected to anything. It just goes around that coil there to trigger the oscillator into a rotating circuit like this where the signal comes across through here picked up by that tower there, comes out that one wire into what's called an AV plug, splits it into a plus and minus, feeds back into the sec exciter, and the circle goes around and around and around. Now this is not the complete way this is done. This is a stepping stone for us to understand how it's done. Now I don't have a signal generator that would make this work, so I'm just using my sec 15-3. Uh, this is probably not the correct way to do it, but at least it gives me an idea of what he had in mind. So here I have my power source. It's a couple of 9-volt batteries, uh, 18 volts. I'm going to feed it into the SEC-15. It's going to come out of the SEC-15 through a, one wire, the little signal wire there. It's going to go out that one little wire and go around that coil. And that's my signal to get this going. And I'll show you how this works here. Watch the lights. Okay, there go the lights right there. You notice they're both on. And what's happening here, and there's the, uh, the tuning light on uh, SEC 18-1 uh, is very handy because you can see how that uh, particular oscillator is uh, tuning with that tuning light right there. And it's got a little tuning capacitor there that is extremely hard to tune. Uh, I need to make a tool. This little screwdriver it doesn't work because every time you get it close, you throw the capacitance off with your hand or whatever, and it, it just drives it nuts. So I'm going to have to make a special tool. I am tuning this with the tunable inductor on the SEC-15. But there's, there's basically what's going on here. And if I put my hand in here, you can see it, it shuts down the light. Get a better angle out here. And this gives you an idea of what he had in mind to show us that the energy can come across here through space. There's no connection between this except on the return path through this AV plug. It comes down off that tower and actually feeds the SEC unit with power. Now, on my particular setup, I am getting the energy, I'm 100% sure, through an inductive coupling on that wire right there. Because when I disconnect these batteries, it goes completely dead instantly. There's no blinking, no continual running or whatever. So I am not doing this correctly, but if I was doing it correctly, I understand what's supposed to be happening is a signal would go in there, trigger this into oscillation and this would start running around and around and around and around and um, anyway that's my interpretation of what he has in mind here on this particular experiment replication thanks for watching hope this helps somebody with a signal generator